Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes. Hello, welcome to Following the Light, Angel Card Readings by Barbara. This is our month, my first monthly reading, which is starting in September, which is, might be a great time to start this because there's a lot of energies happening in this month, including uh, three supermoons. One just commenced and is over on August 29th, followed by a total lunar eclipse and supermoon on September 27th. And followed by October 27th, a supermoon, which means the moon is the closest to the Earth. And then in September 13th, in the middle of the month, we're having a partial solar eclipse. And the fall equinox um, is September 22nd, and Mercury goes retrograde September 15th through October 9th. A lot of energies. Eclipses um, speed up time a lot of times. They bring in things we never thought would happen in the amount of time. So expect a lot of revelations, a lot of changes in your life. The supermoons are, are asking us to let go, process things that no longer serve us, no longer honor us. They could be relationships, careers, old belief systems, addictions, people, places. It could be that you're thinking about moving and you're trying to let go of energies in the old environment. Anything um, that no longer serves you, doesn't honor you, or is keeping you stuck in the old energies. Um, we are in ascension energies as well, have been um, before 2012. I've um, felt a lot of energies for the last several years. And a lot of this is culminating with all of these energies this month. Um, the fall equinox. Um, brings fruition, uh, especially with what you began during the spring equinox in March and the April eclipses. So expect a lot of uh, things happening. Mercury, Mercury retrograde this month begins and usually that means nothing new is going to happen between September 15th and October 9th, but you may indeed run into old colleagues, old lovers, and need to process that. This is definitely a time to release things, as I say, that no longer serve you in your life. Well, let's get started with the reading. We're going to start with an overall energy card by Sandra Ann Taylor. Their energy oracle card. Sandra Ann Taylor is an intuitive, and I've listened to her many times on Hay House Radio, and she created these cards within the last year or two, and I just love them. Okay, what is the overall September energy? What is the universe asking us? The Garden and the Gate. I've gotten this card a lot. Okay. And this could be with the energies too. We're standing out of wonder right before the precipice of a beautiful light. But we're also happy with where we are, but where we are is keeping us stuck. And instead of opening that gate to freedom, to uh, passion, to following our heart, we're pretty content to stay there. So this month, the energies are asking us, let go of what no longer serves you. This is a pretty good card for actually September. What, let go of what no longer serves you so that you can go to a higher plane of existence, a higher spiritual plane, a better career, a more heartfelt career. Um, following your own path, whatever that might be, leave old relationships behind. And they're not saying this what, where you currently are is all that bad. It's just that have the courage to step away from what no longer serves you and is keeping you from living your highest ideal of a life, whatever that may be. It could be a career, it could be a set of friends, it could be an addiction, it could be old uh, belief patterns that keep you stuck in doing the same thing over and over in the universe with these energies is asking you to open that gate explore other options certainly if that's all you need to do just explore other options follow your heart okay and now I will pick a card for each week first week in September the lovers Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. 
Okay, the lovers, it could be that someone is in your life currently, and either you are to release them or make a choice. It's not just about new love coming in, it's about existing relationships. And I think in this energy, this month, ask yourself if this is what you truly want. And if you're having problems, do you have enough courage to step away from that? and process that and finally let go of that and it's a perfect time between August 29th that just passed and this last supermoon of October 27th or it could be for a lot of you that a new love is coming in and this would be the month where it would be very love at first sight type of thing so um, be careful of that but make good choices and then it also says good health it's a time to love yourself uh, self-love uh, let go of the habits and beliefs that are holding you back go to the gym eat healthier foods drink a lot of water processing and also too drinking a lot of water and energies like this helps us to rid our our cells of uh, toxins and everything so if you're not drinking water drink water um, and basically it's saying that either love yourself more, there's a new love coming in, or process a love that no longer serves you. I know right now I'm kind of um, doing the love that no longer serves me, and so I'm having to revisit that. And it might even ramp up during the Mercury retrograde. We shall see. Okay, let's do the second week of September. Well, Queen of Water, Queen of Cups. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Okay, so this could very well be about a major relationship in your life or a relationship with yourself indeed. Um, care for yourself and others. So take good care of yourself. Um, the Queen of Water is a Scorpio, which I am a Scorpio. It's, she's very intuitive, very tender-hearted, very caring, very giving. I'm an empath, so it's empathic. Um, be more patient with yourself. Be more patient with lovers. And sometimes when you're having problems, all you need to be have is more patience with that other person. But I think this, these energies are either going to make or break a relationship. Um, and you don't have to be with a person for the rest of your life. I, um, I mean, that used to be an old paradigm, and we're getting away from that now. Um, but love yourself through whatever you're going through. And if you are to open your heart to a lover, um, then be careful and take care of yourself in, that, in the energies that are coming up. Process. Set your intentions. Do what's right for you. And... Um, or maybe you're more intuitive this month um, or perhaps a Scorpio woman is coming into your life that's going to be more loving empathic and um, you're going to meet a new lover it could be okay the third week the moon yes figures very prominently this month the moon and it says important psychic insights events behind the scenes release fears that hold you back a lot of times in these uh, lunar energies a lot of things come to light that weren't evident before and certainly with the eclipses that may be true the moon um, is very powerful especially with these energies like I say with the super moons and um, this is a person standing in a forest with her dog and um, it's got a wolf very intuitive and the uh, moon also brings out your intuitive abilities as well psychic insights events behind the scenes something may indeed happen during these energies uh, these next four weeks that you didn't know about that need to be revealed tune into your intuition too on these super moons um, sit in silence um, sit in front of a fire burn your um, things that you want to let go of use these moons to manifest more of what you want and let go of what you don't want and so it's going to the moon is very much going to figure prominently with the um, upcoming events okay the fourth week And the fourth week is when the lunar eclipse is set to take place. 
Ego. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So this is basically being addicted to something, could be a person, could be a substance, could be a job, old belief systems that you're being asked to let go of and process and that's what all this, weird enough, all this energy and there's actually three major arcana cards here. The moon is very prominent. This is used normally the devil card. It's uh, addictions, um, feeling it trapped in something, but there's always angels around you that allow you to process all of this energy and let it go. Let it let go of fear-based thoughts. That's what these new energies are about too. It's about following your heart, following the light, whether you believe in God or the universe or a universal power. Um, there are angels. I totally believe in God and um, the angels, or I wouldn't be doing this. I tune to my light, my power. This is my path to do the angel card readings. I've worked in corporate America for a very long time that I found very disempowering. But um, the ego card is to let go of things that no longer serve you. And that's what I was saying in the beginning. And so this is kind of what um, these cards show. Open the gate to your life. Follow your heart. Follow your passion. Don't be afraid. Your ego is telling you you can't do it. There may indeed be coming um, into your life new lovers or you're processing um, an old relationship and finally saying, I deserve better. And you need to take care of yourself. The Queen of Water, be more empathic. Or it could be the Queen of Water is coming into your life if you're a male. Someone who loves you, cares about you, and has an open heart. And that's what you're looking for in a relationship. Can someone open their heart enough to love you? And the moon, like I say, three super moons, a total lunar eclipse on September 27th. Tune into those energies. Change your life. Open that gate. Let go of ego-based, fear-based thoughts. Let love in if you need to. Let love go if you need to. Um, I don't really have much more to say, but um, use these energies to better your life. Um, to open that gate and walk through it into the light. And, uh, and um, let love in or let love go. Okay, I thank you very much for listening and tuning in. I will talk to you soon. Blessings in the light. Fantabulous night to make romance Need the cover of October skies Get all the leaves on the trees are falling To the sound of the breezes that blow And I'm trying to please to the calling